You hear that? That's right, my boy. That's the Pokemon sound to anyone trying to break into my house. Now, I don't know about you, but there's nothing scarier than a home invasion. See, while you're asleep, you're at your most vulnerable. You can hear a thing, can't see to save your life, can't even feel your surroundings. You're too busy peacefully enjoying your beautiful dreams. Until it all goes left. See, this is where criminals take advantage. See, it's like they say, nothing good happens after midnight. And as a man, it's your job to be the protector. Tim, Tim, wake up. Whoa. Did you hear that? Yeah, what? Someone's breaking in. What? Go check it out. I thought you were the man in the house. Mm-mm, girl. Y'all want to eagle rice, right? And trust me, there's nothing worse than someone breaking into your home and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, for the uninformed, nearly 300 burglaries occur each year in the United States. Are you sure? Are you positive? Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, what I'm looking for is for the girl that's in the house to come out here because I'm going to rape her and kill her. I, I want to rape her and kill her because I have a knife and a gun. Now, since I've been a victim to home invasions, I'm gonna give you a few pointers. Keep the curtains and blinds closed, install security cameras, get motion sensing lights, purchase a guard dog, don't post on social media when you're out the house, and lastly, but most importantly, buy a gun. Guns are the best protection against home invasions. Fam, you won't believe how many people get robbed due to incompetence. Till this day, I still triple check, quadruple check all my locks in my house every freaking night. And that might is where this story begins. So for this story, I'ma take you back, back to one of the most terrifying nights of my life. So it's right after college. Now you gotta understand. See, once you graduate, oh, you on your own, my guy. No more living under mommy and daddy. No more free meals. You're not an adult, and it's your job to keep a roof over your head. But here's the problem: a roof on top of your head costs money, in which you don't have because you need a high paying job, in which you don't have because you need experience and which you still don't have because you just graduated out of college see how this works now since i was making damn near minimum wage the only place i could afford to live were low-income areas now my neighborhood wasn't the worst but it wasn't the greatest either and it's like they say you get what you pay for oh. Oh, wow. maybe there's a gang activity here that's crazy so after putting in work, I find a little spot and move in with my girl. Now, fellas, I'm going to need you to listen carefully. You need to find a woman who will stick with you when you're at your lowest. See, today's women want a nice car, nice house, nice gifts, but material things take time to get. My girl was different, different. All she saw was a young black man breaking his back trying to make it in this world. Now, as a precaution, I bought a firearm and decided to teach my girl how to use it. Look, I know you're not a fan of guns, but in this neighborhood, you gonna need one. At first, Shorty wasn't with it, but I don't like guns. See, my girl grew up in a nice neighborhood and never experienced a home invasion. Think of it like this. If someone breaks in and I'm not here, who's gonna protect you? Now that I got her attention, so my girl agrees and I start teaching her how to properly use a firearm. Okay, this is what you do. When a mofo pulls up to you, you smoke that fool. Pow, pow. Now you try. Remember, point, aim, and shoot. No girl, open your eyes and blast that fool. Okay. So I took her to the range, taught her how to aim, trained her how to shoot, showed her how to properly conceal the weapon, if it's cooled her on how to maintain the fire. So onward, and it's Saturday night. Uh, from time to time, I will work the night shift just to get some overtime work. So on this particular day, I get to work, and right about midnight, my phone starts going off. Hmm, that's weird. It's calling me awfully late. As a precaution, I told my girl only to call me if there's an emergency. So I pick up the phone. Hello? Oh my god, Tim, I think there's a home invasion. What? So it's breaking into the next door. Okay, listen. Remember what I told you. So it's practice, my girl gets the firearm, gets to the back room, and gets into the closet. I'm here. Now listen, if anyone comes in, you pull the trigger, you hear me? I don't want to kill anyone. Listen to me, pull the trigger. And call 911. Okay. Now my job was a 30 minute drop. So I get to the driveway, get into my whip, and start speeding my way to the crib. Bam, I'm going as fast as this bucket could go. Oh my God, I hear screaming. Oh no, Tim. Someone's knocking on the door. Stay calm. Then I hear a couple shots going on. Now, this is what I purposely didn't mention. See, my next door neighbor was a dealer. Every day I would notice multiple cars showing up to his door. Then a guy would come outside, get to the vehicle, handle his business, and then return to his house. Now, it doesn't take a genius to find out what's going on. But since it had nothing to do with your boy, I'm minding my own damn business. Damn. And of course, the one time I get on the highway is the same time there's an accident. 
now I'm panicking. My girl needs help, and there's nothing I can do about it. And then the phone goes silent. Hello? B? Are you there? Oh, no, 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 no. This ain't good. Tim? 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 Oh, no. My phone's dead. So I finally make it off the hallway, make it to the house, and the whole place is filled with cops. Now I'm shook. My girl's not picking up her phone. The police are all over the scene. Something's going wrong. Oh, God, please. Don't let this be my baby. So I get inside the house, rush to the back room, and stop next to the closet. Okay, Tim, be ready for what you're about to see. Oh, God, please let her be okay. So I finally open the door. Damn, girl, you almost killed me. Open your eyes. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. So my girl rushes into my arms, calm her down, let her know everything's gonna be all right. And since that day, I never left her alone at night. So, moral of the story. It's better to be prepared than to get ready. Because by failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. Oh, you think I was capping? Here's the real video. Yo, this is crazy. Tell your teacher you sir. Oh! No, this can't be real. Oh, what? Of course, I was him. Uh, where my boxing gloves, man? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be me an old man. We gonna have to go. We gonna have to get it. We gonna have to go. Cause I'm not just gonna let that one slide. He up, the whole world is watching him. He's gonna get slayed when he get to school. They're gonna roast him to death. He needs to take some uh, martial arts classes. <laughs> and it's a stick. Can you even drive a stick? 